Royals, and I am so excited to be here today with Historical Truth 101, speaking with Mr. Uh, Jamie here at the Berkeley Plantation in Virginia. Uh, Mr. Jamie, would you like to introduce yourself? Well, my given name is Malcolm Jameson. I'm a third generation Scot. My grandfather came over from Dundee about, uh, uh, six, uh, about uh, 1850 and was uh, ended up fighting in the Civil War. And my family has been uh, struggling, and I use that word, I'll use it again, because it is always a struggle and a labor of love to keep this place and restore it. We, my parents spent their whole lives, uh, they were 89 and 90 when they passed away about eight years ago, uh, refurbishing and, and really bringing uh, Berkeley back from ruin. Madison appointed 27-year-old William Henry Harrison as a military governor of the Northwest Territory, and there's where he got his political start. In 1840, he was nominated to run as the presidential candidate of the Whig Party. Uh, vice presidential choice of the Whigs in 1840 was John Tyler, and John Tyler in 1840 coincidentally lived just about nine miles up the road from here. So. As a result of that, it's the only time in the history of the United States that we had a president and a vice president who were from the same state and county. Uh, William Henry was 68 years old when he took the oath of office in Washington, D.C. on March 4, 1841. and we love this land and uh, there are a lot of families we were talking earlier that all over this country that have run family farms and it's so hard these days and so tight and you know the corporate farms are moving in and everything but there's something about it gets in your blood and, and, you, and you, you put so much time and love into it and uh, sweat equity and, and it, it really is I think one of the basis one of the things worth saving in this country because they're the best Christian people and they're just absolutely you know, the, the salt of this, what makes this country good is the people that work hard and the, even, if, you know, all the, not necessarily landowners, but the middle class that makes all the things here and does all the, all the stuff that little guys, and that's what makes this country great. It's not the, the wealthy people or the rich people, I think, it's the people that work hard and, and care about what they do.